Hello Indie Game Fan, this edition of new updates and releases begins with Floppy Knight's Graveyard Shift, the latest free update to this awesome tactics deck builder title, adding a little spooky twist to this great game, making it even better. A curious entry that got my attention is Stella Pastoris, a 1-bit city builder title that looks to have RTS influence. You operate this floating skull thing that kind of looks like a Starcraft Zerg overlord, extending your protection to the colony as they struggle to survive. The one-bit look stands out, with plenty of old-school influence in the design as well, looking to be for 90s kids. This video is brought to you by Rubber Bandit's Spooky Spree, a seasonal event for this wacky local multiplayer title that is just in time for Halloween, running from the 20th of October to the 10th of November. Critically, this adds three new permanent weapons in the Rope Gun, Pumpkin Grenade and Cursed Book, as well as spooky character skins and three new spooky levels, making it perfect for this time of year. Playing as criminals, it is all about trying to get as much cash as you can, where the physics-based action does lead to all sorts of hilarity. There are 8 different game modes, co-op support, cross-play between different consoles and even Steam Remote Play support, where one Steam copy allows up to 4 people to play together, but it's currently on sale at a low low price of $3.99 or the regular price of $4.99, making it pretty affordable for a night of fun with friends, so get into the spirit of the season with this game. Rubber bandits. While looking through Steam doing research for another video, Astro Nautilus from way back in March 2022 did get my attention, a roguelite shoot 'em up title that looks awesome, looking like a throwback to the arcade classics but with a modern twist. In fact, this does remind me of the awesome roguelite Monolith in many ways, especially in the art and UI, where there are procedurally generated enemy waves and a whole bunch of in-run upgrades. As a fan of shooter maps, this got my attention and seems to be woefully overlooked as well, so if you love this genre, do give it a go. The developer of Pixel Cup Soccer Ultimate Edition did reach out to me, and as someone who grew up with games like FIFA 95, this certainly got my attention. In contrast with the modern simulation sports titles, this does have more of an arcade feel and does seem to have a decent amount of traction all on its own, so if you're a fan of the beautiful game, do check this out. One of the more interesting curiosities in recent memory is Dead Eye Deepfake Simulacrum, one that, despite the rather simple top-down look, is actually an immersive sim where you play as a corporate agent, having to hack computers and to get information while mastering guns, time manipulation and supernatural abilities as well.
It's a very ambitious, weird and interesting title that can only be done in the indie game space where it looks like that kind of sandbox experience they can get lost in for hours, looking pretty slick as well. As a child, my parents would tell me stories of a land where every belly is full, every person is clothed, where peasants can become lords, a beacon of hope, culture and art. The not-so-indie French developer Shiro Games has been a mainstay on this channel going back to their very early days with Evil Land in 2013, where one of the games currently in early access is the excellent open-world RPG War Tales, where I already know that this will be great, releasing the Great Gozenberg update. This adds an entire new kingdom and the titular capital city of Gozenberg, filled with new quests and mysteries to uncover as you lead your band of mercenaries onwards to wealth and glory, being a huge content drop that makes this even better. Win over the audience and you win Gozenberg. Truth is a lie. Trust no one. Why are you still listening to me? <laughs> Speaking of medieval titles, Foundation is an excellent city builder that has been in early access since 2019 where the free form building without a grid was one of the main draws and how this has grown in the years since then, releasing the major update that brings it to version 1.9. Basically, this revamps the progression system and adds a whole bunch of new content such as new buildings, a taxation system and optional tracking systems for achievements, where if you love city builders, this is one to get, with plenty to enjoy as we march towards the 1.0 release. An awesome title that released out of early access is Such Art, a first-person artist simulator with a variety of tools at your disposal to create your masterpieces. It has quite an interesting meta story and setting as well since it is set in the year 2130 on board a space station but where down on earth things are possibly going rather bad with the robot uprising and the rise of crap like creatures or aliens. But hey, art is at a premium as always so you do have to find your way where the physics of the tools is surprisingly robust and is not just another first person sim. Sailing the skies, exploring floating continents and battling pirates and monsters is all in a day's work in Black Skylands, an open world sandbox title which has impressed so far in early access, releasing the aerial update which of course places an emphasis on the air combat between skyships with new weapons, enemies and better AI, we can watch this video for more gorgeous pixel art. <laughs> 